it is a remarkable fact about a coastal bend city. Two recipients of the prestigious Nobel Prize were born in Alice. There have been fewer than a thousand so-called Nobel laureates around the world and in their 120 year history of the award. That's incredible, isn't it? Our Seth Kovar joins us now live in the studio. Seth, what a huge honor for a relatively small city when you talk about the world. <laughs> yeah, you're talking yeah. two out of 968 or so Nobel Prizes in a town of 19,000 people, I would say so. Now, I got to interview both of the Nobel laureates from Alice. They joke that uh, maybe something's in the water there. Maybe that explains it. It is a coincidence, of course, but the city is still capitalizing on it. I'm grateful to, to the city of Alice for, for the built orb. I'm sort of proud of it, you know. I'm, where it came from. No matter which direction you come into Alice, you'll see one of these billboards recognizing doctors Robert Curl and James Allison. Both were born here, and Allison even graduated from Alice High School. I was lucky in that I had several teachers and several counselors that uh, you know, really, I guess, recognized something I and mean, helped me get into special programs. Curl's family moved away shortly after his second birthday, and he hasn't been back to visit since. But that doesn't mean he's not grateful for the recognition. I have seen a, a picture of the billboard. It looks nice. I appreciate it. Neither Nobel laureate calls these streets home anymore. They both live in the Houston area, but they're still thankful for their Alice roots. They would be proud enough of me to put my ugly face on a sign everybody sees coming into town. It's, you know, kind of cool. I hope it, it uh, encourages the, the young people that are interested in science. Now the big question, what did they do to win the Nobel Prize? Well, Curl and a colleague at Rice University discovered a molecule that's now used in nanotechnology. Allison created a treatment in which our body's own natural immune system can fight cancer cells. He says it's used all over the world on hundreds of thousands of patients. Katia, what do you think about that? You think you and I can come up with something? <laughs> I don't think we're getting any Nobels anytime soon. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Seth. Trying not to laugh.